morning friends and welcome back to the channel. This is December Daily 2023 and I am working on day 13 and today is going to be a double-sided day 13. This layout is actually almost done. Um, I fused some glittery shaker mix in here and I took some off cuts of uh, acetate from laminating things and I just put the photos of some of my holiday movies that I've watched so that they kind of float in the pocket and make it look like they're just kind of hanging out there. Uh, I've already pre-selected pre all my papers. Um, I think I stuck the 13 down but none of these other little embellishments are stuck down so and I think I had to glue that one in too so I will put you on fast forward while I finish off this very quick page I just love doing these little two by two pages it's fun to kind of treat each little square as its own little individual page uh, so I'm just gluing some of these little die cuts down. A lot of the die cuts on this side of the page were actually from the Snow and Cocoa collection that was gifted to me um, by one of the girls in the old Facebook group I was part of. I know I keep mentioning that group, but um, we did swaps for, oh gosh, I want to say at least two years. And so a lot of the little... Um, like little collections of things that I have that I don't I don't have the complete collection of were little things that were like printed and cut for me and gifted. So um, I think that's actually part of what started my love of the crepe paper collections. I saw it in uh, one of the, I got it in one of the little packages that I received from a friend. And then I just became obsessed. So a lot of my December daily supplies for the last few years now have been uh, crepe paper collections. I just think they're so fun. And I love the little critters that they include. So yeah, I'm just kind of gluing things down and struggling to get these little pieces out of the pockets. Um, I did the fuse tool work off camera because my fuse tool is very fussy and I don't know if it's because I'm very impatient and I often try to fuse things before the tool is ready and so I end up uh, with pockets that don't stay attached which was actually the case of that uh, page there the day eight page of the door I actually refused that as well so that's why the the albums turn to that page. I have such a hard time with that little tool. Wow. I should probably just start doing shaker pockets and stuff just by closing it with my sewing machine, but I can't be bothered to grab the whole sewing machine out and especially for such a small space as these little squares. Let me know in the comments down below if you do um, little shaker pockets and if you do how do you shut them how do you close them and keep the sequiny bits inside of the pocket I'd love to hear um, the variety of different ways because those are the only two that I really know of so yep so I'm just working on these little papers and now I'm going to throw a couple of tiny words on if I had been more organized, I would have had all these little squares out on my desk and um, I wouldn't keep having to take them out of the little pockets. But So the little tiny words that I'm pulling off here are from a very old Allie Edwards uh, December Daily kit that I have. And I'm kind of down to 
I don't know, maybe about half a sheet of words. So I'm just kind of throwing them on and they don't always go with the photo or the, um, the like clip art or anything that I'm using there. Die cuts, that's the word I'm looking for. But I'm just kind of sticking and plonking, as Inky Quill would say. And uh, this little bear, no, that's not the bear one. The little bear um, die cut on one of these and the little triangular house there that I'm fighting with were just a smidge too big. So I ended up having to stick them on the paper and then uh, cut off the little edges that overhung the square. So, but yeah, this is pretty much done. I think I fuss a little bit with a couple of odds and ends, but honestly, a lot of the work for this page was done off camera. Like I said, I cut the, uh, the two by two acetate squares and uh, stuck my photos on them and that was all good. Oh yes, this, um, this little square here, the two by two on the back side was just a little bit too big. So I glued these together so I could cut them and make them match up a little bit better. This would have been a great chance to use some double-sided paper, but I don't have a lot of double-sided paper anymore. It feels like a lot of the collections now are just single-sided, but there we go. Pretty much done. All right, friends. So day 13 is all finished. And I'm slowly working my way up. So day 14 is next. And I may actually be able to post that video today. So stay tuned. All right, as always, thanks for coming to hang out with me. I hope that you're all finished your December daily um, and finished your 2023 20, scrapbooking, but I am not. So um, I've got a lot of catching up to do. All right, friends, thank you again, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.